Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Supurna and I make content related to beauty, fashion and lifestyle. So as a beauty enthusiast, I have tried a lot of viral products in last couple of months. Some I have loved, some I have hated using and some I have been okay with like for one time use it was fine. So in today's video, I'll be sharing my opinion on few of the viral products. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start this video on a positive note. One product that I have been loving using that I have already finished one tub and I have bought another already. I'm talking about the Foxtail Skin Radiance Mask. So I have a combination skin type. I love using clay mask, but not something that is too drying. And uh, I have been using all the clay masks till uh, this, um, which was very drying. Like all of them were very drying. It was to, you know, feel very dry uh, even um, in the first 15 minutes or so. But this particular one does not dry up your skin. You can leave it like don't do it but you can also you know leave it for more than 45 to 1 hour and it will not be drying on your face but it will do its job so it's a clay mask it will clear up all the pores it will take up uh, it will take off all the gunk from your face and it will help you especially if you have oily or combination skin you will love it it will also help you getting a more radiant and brighter looking skin so if you have not tried this product yet you you should try it because this is truly a stunner another viral product which i have loved first i got this and then i got the another variant in this so i'm talking about the wish care fluid sunscreen this one has niacinamide and this comes with vitamin c both of these i have loved using and both of these are almost over like it has reached till here and I love a good lightweight sunscreen uh, to be applied before I head out for workout because usually it will be hot in the morning and I don't want to put on you know some heavy or uh, some moisturizing sunscreen but sunscreen is the most important thing. I have enjoyed, I have already finished almost two of this bottle. I have placed another order for this one. I am going to be repeating the niacinamide one. You can see the texture of this. Super lightweight. And then this. So this one is slightly thicker, the niacinamide one, as you can see. So both of these leave no white cast, gets absorbed super quickly. I'll definitely be continuing using these sunscreens and I think they are absolutely worth the hype. One skincare product that has gone viral on the internet but which I did not enjoy uh, using. Used it like once or twice and uh, it did not show much on me which is from hyphen it's their vitamin infused peptide dewy prep i was so excited to try this um so they told that uh, like the initial 500 pieces from their website if you order when they launched you can get this with you know the signed copy by kriti sanan so i got this I was so excited to try it. I love the packaging and everything. But the thing is, uh, it says face serum and also it's a uh, dewy prep. So it will prep your skin for the makeup. It's supposed to be very nourishing and supposed to add a visible glow, hydration and healthy looking skin. So my problem with this is I love the texture. Okay. I definitely love the texture. It's very, very lightweight and all and uh, very easy to blend as well. So as you see, as you can see, it got absorbed very quickly, right? The first 15-20 seconds, it feels very hydrating and very um, dewy and prepped for your makeup. But give it a minute or two. After for like one or two minutes, it becomes normal like as if you did not apply anything on your skin it it just feels like my normal skin before moisturizing you know um and i don't understand the purpose of this to be honest if you're trying to say that it has the serum plus moisturizer both the uh qual both the steps together present in this and you can skip the test you can skip the step but i don't think you can skip your moisturizer before you apply your makeup uh, because it does not do anything which is long lasting more for more than one or two minutes so i did not enjoy this product and this really didn't serve its purpose for me that's my personal opinion let me know uh, if this uh, worked for any of you or you enjoyed 
uh, using it i would love to know that for me it's definitely a pass and uh, i did not like it i definitely regret investing my money in this that is what tells you that not all viral products are good next another product which i recently came across actually i got this in the goodie bag from minimalist uh, uh, during Nika Land event and uh, this is the HOCL skin purifying spray from Minimalist. Basically it's supposed to help you with the skin barrier and especially if you're having um, acne prone skin, any kind of redness or irritation this is supposed to help you with that and recently I got you can see the mark here recently i got um the acne and my skin was feeling very irritated so i used it it really worked and this is not a sponsored video they did not pay me uh, they did not send me this in pr i just won the uh, goodies the hamper there so um yeah this was amazing i uh, so now also whenever i come from outside my skin if it feels like you know it's like even a little bit of itchy or uh, irritated i quickly just spritz this all over my face and it really calms it down uh, it does have a very chemical spray uh, smell not chemical i would say you know in those chemistry or physics lab those um solution how it used to uh, smell it just reminds me of that yeah it just reminds me of that but it doesn't last like this fragrance doesn't last for more than um 30 to 40 seconds so uh that is that but this definitely uh is great and i have been enjoying using it and I feel totally worth the hype. Next, I have a moisturizer from Foxtail. Again, I have got this uh, from Nika Land. I have used it twice or thrice before I put on my makeup. And trust me, this is beautiful. Like, this is very hydrating. And my makeup, especially my base makeup, glides on smoothly whenever I prep my skin with this particular um moisturizer this is the foxtail in the limelight super glow moisturizer i have the mini i am definitely gonna be buying the bigger one the 50 ml one because i have been loving using it i feel it's the it's one of the great product to prep your uh, skin with with uh, before applying makeup it adds a slight glow to your skin whenever you apply it and then it's it feels very hydrated your skin and it lasts on your skin the hydration uh, even after applying makeup so next is one controversial product on the internet which is the maybelline super stay terry tint i have already expressed my uh, frustration and disappointment um, in the shots uh, which I posted around one and a half months back when it launched this particular shade is July forever now the, the color is beautiful it's a very beautiful shade it is a tint it's not a lipstick so it is not supposed to give you a full coverage or if you have pigmented lips it's not gonna hide your pigmentation completely as much as a lipstick would do but um it it is super sticky and it's not comfortable at all to wear it doesn't transfer definitely once it settles down after 10 to 12 minutes it takes to settle down but um it feels super uncomfortable to wear like it feels like a glue I, I couldn't even i remember i couldn't even talk after applying it like my lips were getting like glued together so definitely no and i have seen people were using it on their cheeks also you're supposed to use it on their on your cheeks but what i saw on my lips after that i don't dare to use it on my lips so for me it's a big no and uh, let me know uh, in the comment section if you have used it and what was your experience using it um and yeah i definitely prepped my lips before i applied it it's not 
I am pretty sure it's not me, it's this. Now, Mars has been launching a lot of new products back to back, especially during the festive season and the wedding season. And I, so far, I have been loving all the new launches. So in today's video, I have three of their viral new launches, which I have tried and tested, and I have really loved using them. The first one is this particular primer. This is supposed to it's be the Mars for the Elf primer, grip, power grip primer and because they have got the same packaging, same kind of formulation um, ideas and um, functions. I have compared both of them. This is priced at $349 only and I'm sure you'll get at least like 5 or 10% discount everywhere on Mars products. Once you blend it, you need to let it set for a minute or so. It gets blended very smoothly and it does add a lot of glow to your skin. Also, it becomes slightly sticky as well. Definitely go for this one. So for this price and this quality, amazing. Definitely worth the hype. Next one is this blooming eyeshadow palette from Mars. I have got the variant Imperial. Again, stunning shades of mattes and shimmers. Beautifully pigmented and the color payoff is beautiful. And I think they have launched in some four uh, variants. It comes with a mirror as well. Very compact, perfect for traveling. Priced at rupees 349. So overall, it's a great product. I absolutely love it. I have been using it constantly. So if you're thinking of buying it, go for it. You won't be disappointed. Another Mars product, which I recently come across and fell in love with instantly, which is their Drip Lip Mist. Now this is supposed to be the dupe for the Romand Long Lasting Juicy Tint. I have already compared both of them, posted a shots on it. Uh, honestly, as per my opinion, this is far better than the Romand if you compare the uh, quality and the pricing. This comes for, I think, $2.99 or something and the Mars one price is somewhere around $8.99 or so. And definitely this one, I felt more glossier and more hydrating, to be honest. And um, mm, smells yummy. I feel hungry so it's uh, I have got this in the shade mulberry drip beautiful pink dark pink shade now the best part is but if you wipe it off also it leaves a very long lasting non transferable tint on your lips which is great and this like this formulation is perfect for pigmented lips as well though it's a lip gloss or a lip tint it's perfect because the pigmentation is so great very hydrating and affordable now don't cancel me for saying this but i did not enjoy or like this jelly tint from prosh i have already posted a uh, shots on this now this is supposed to be the dupe for the milk jelly tint again of course it's like almost like one third of the price and available in india from an indian brand um very interesting formulation right it's like jelly you can see this oops like jelly and they are very pigmented no doubt in that this particular one in the shade grape crush this has a medium to buildable pigmentation. You can definitely build it up. In one swipe, it won't give you a lot of pigment, uh, which is good because you can have the control over it, right? But my problem with this is, um, it first of all, it did move my makeup and it felt very oily on my skin. I don't think uh, this will be long lasting on me and also, as I mentioned, it did move my makeup, which means I cannot wear it on top of my makeup. Now, uh, oh, uh, for no makeup makeup look, maybe you can use it if you're not wearing anything on your face. But again, I'm not quite sure about the formulation or, you know, a jelly tint. So I, as I mentioned, I want to try something very different, like, you know, apart from the usual cream, liquid or powder blush a jelly which was going viral all over the world and finally our one indian brand launched it 
and uh, which was like I think around 700 or 750 rupees so I wanted to just try it you know and uh, see like what is all the hype about but I did not like it it's my personal preference personal choice I did not enjoy it and I'm not sure and I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be using it definitely not gonna be using it on a daily basis maybe once in a while if I see that okay I bought it I should use it maybe then but for me it's definitely a no-no now the current sensation on the internet and a super viral product which recently launched on nika and tira in india is the tita cushion foundation love the packaging and this color looks super luxe and uh, this is my first time using a cushion foundation it comes with a big size mirror and this puff which is the applicator and once you open it there goes the cushion foundation so you're supposed to dip it in like this take the product now take the excess off here by patting pat 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 and then you apply it on your skin by uh, with a dabbing motion dab 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 so you never swipe you go dab 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 now as you can see the coverage here on my hand it's a full coverage foundation like full you can see the difference absolutely full it is gonna cover up all your acne marks um if you apply you know a decent amount on your face but you can also apply a thin layer and get a medium uh, coverage so basically it has a medium to full coverage uh, potential but you need to get your shades correctly this is definitely not my correct shade it's though it shades uh, though my shade is 24 n latte n means neutral still it looks very warm and yellow on me so um like right now i am wearing the same foundation the tt foundation but it is uh, i have applied a very thin layer uh, on me because the first time when I applied, I applied too much. It was a disaster. I did not understand that it will be so full coverage. Yeah, I tried to apply a thin layer and try to work it out. Mm, I absolutely love this formulation. It has a full coverage, does not look cakey. And even with the full face of makeup, it feels lightweight. It feels like as if I'm not wearing anything on my face. And trust me when I say this, it really feels like I'm not wearing anything. And um, which is great. And... Uh, it also claims to be a super long wearing foundation which I'm yet to check that particular point because I have just worn it like around one and a half hours back and I have not seen any crease. Of course, I haven't set my face. I've only used this except my under eyes. I don't see any creasing which is great till now and uh, yeah it is a great foundation you should get this um if you are you know planning to because um it just checks all my foundation criterias and uh, i'm definitely gonna be finding my perfect shade going to a store maybe um if it's available at any nika store physical store so yeah and uh, then definitely this is gonna be my one of my most favorite foundations because i am already in love and i am already enjoying wearing it definitely definitely worth the hype another product that really disappointed me is this it's the super viral tubing mascara from stays nine to nine looks amazing claims amazing facts now th this is how the applicator looks like now with this mascara what i felt is on multiple coats of it it starts to clump up all your lashes like it looks very it, it creates a lot of mess here on your lashes it gets clumped up the products are all like deposited it's just a mess which i did not like i personally like to add a lot of coats of mascara to make it you know to make my lashes look lank la longer and more voluminous but which i could not get using this like on the first coat it was fine but from the second and third coats it started to get clumped up and then after that i just couldn't make it work but 
tubing mascara it is it really uh, was easy for me to remove the mascara from my lashes so that i think yeah that i'll have to give it to you uh, it, the easiest to remove this particular mascara though it is a waterproof mascara i took a cotton pad soaked it in uh, the micellar water i just like dabbed it let it settle and then i just massaged a little and then i pulled and it took off the full mascara without even taking any like a single lashes off so that i'll have to give it to it tubing mascara great but on multiple coats it really uh, clumped my lashes so i don't think it worked great for me so i'll definitely pass this one now, the last vinyl product in today's video is this hair serum from l'oreal paris it's their extraordinary oil i've got the mini size to test it out and i've used it for like twice or thrice i am in love it smells amazing it adds a very nice shine to my hair and um, my hair I, my hair feels definitely very moisturized and nourished and soft and shiny. So it's a drugstore product. It performs luxuriously. So it's definitely worth all the hype. And um, if you're like, if you're not sure of, just get the small one. This like, this is the 30 ml one, which is for rupees 2.99. But on Amazon, I think I got it around 200. So try that you will love it for sure and if you do you can get the bigger one best part that i like about this is the fragrance it smells amazing like this luxurious hair salon voila fragrance that you know when you come out of the uh, hair salon how your hair smells very luxurious exactly same fragrance you'll get from this so that's it for today i hope you like this video if you did please do like share and comment down below and if you're new here welcome to my channel please do subscribe and i will see you all soon in my next video till then take care and stay happy bye bye